Andrew Tate, The Rise of the First Trillionaire Andrew Tate, a man who appears to be gaining enormous fame on social media, particularly TikTok, is receiving a lot of attention right now. Why are his video clips being shared so widely? Is he paying them to do this? Or is there something else going on? If you want to learn more, keep watching. Andrew Tate is a $30 million rich former professional cruiserweight kickboxer, vlogger, sports pundit, and businessman from the United States. As of 2022, this British-American boxer was a former world champion in both the cruiserweight and the super cruiseweight divisions. Andrew Tate is a three-time ISKA world champion, as well as an infusion champion, though it should be noted that he was gained more notoriety since retiring from sports. Apart from being very active on social media sites like Instagram and YouTube, the content creator became well-known for his divisive views on women. Emery Andrew Tate was born on December 14, 1986 in Washington, D.C. His brother is Tristan, and his sister is Jay. He descended from Scottish and English ancestors. Emery Tate, his father, was a former wrestler and wrestling advocate who developed combat skills at a young age before joining the military and becoming a skilled chess player, winning the U.S. Armed Services Tournament three times. Andrew's marshalling abilities came naturally thanks to his father's chess prowess, and he considered himself a tactician as well. Andrew began playing chess with other older players when he was six years old. So, I grew up surrounded by professional chess players, which is an unusual environment to grow up in because you're surrounded by all these ultra-intelligent, semi-autistic people. When his military career ended, Tate's father was forced to work a series of low-wage jobs. Things eventually got to the point where the family couldn't pay their bills because he couldn't feed his family. Andrew Tate began his professional kickboxing career in April 2009, when he defeated Randall to win the International Sport Karate Association. His first but not last championship was the English light cruiserweight title. In the same year, he defeated Daniel Hughes in the first round to win the British cruiserweight title. In December 2012, he competed in the Gladiators Infusion trial to determine the world's best kickboxer in his weight class. Andrew had made it to the finals before being knocked out on the chin by a flying knee. In June of 2014, Tate would face kickboxing veteran Wendell Roche in the first round. After winning the second round, Andrew became one of the only two fighters to score a TKO against Roche. He won the world championship for infusion at 90 kilograms. Tate would lose his championship two years later in December 2016 in a first round KO, and that would be his final fight until 2020, when he'd return to compete in the KO Master 7 in Bucharest, Romania, where he now resides. At KO Master 7, he won his final bout by knockout in the first round. He faced Miralem Amati in the first round and knocked him out. He called out Jake Paul, offering $3 million to fight him. What made Andrew so well known? If you go to any social media platform right now, specifically TikTok, you'll notice that he has a slew of different pages reusing his content, such as reposting clips from podcasts he's been on, as well as his own YouTube channels and vlogs. Is he behind the accounts that share clips of his content on social media? Certainly not. There are fan page accounts, and there are quite a few of them. If you look at TikTok, you'll notice a number of fan pages with a large number of followers. The reused content is essentially clips of him saying outrageous things that irritate people and hook anyone who uses it. And because his content performs so well, it incentivizes people in his Hustlers University to go all out on affiliate marketing. So how does this work in practice? People usually make a theme page with his content and take snippets from his videos, edit them, and repost them. This isn't because they like him or find his messaging inspiring. They only care about making money through affiliate marketing. They include a Hustlers University affiliate link in their bio after reposting the modified clips. What exactly is Hustlers University 2.0 and how does it function? Andrew's creation, Hustlers University 2.0, is aimed at assisting people in earning money online. There are many courses available within the training, but you can choose which one you want to specialize in. Affiliate marketing, copywriting, personal finance, cryptocurrency, freelancing, and a variety of other topics are thoroughly covered. Andrew Tate has assigned a professor to each of the training courses. These professors have achieved success in their fields and are now teaching others. Professors are actively involved in the community, providing information, assistance, and answers to questions. A good online training platform facilitates a community of like-minded individuals and leaders eager to assist others. Joining Hustler University 2.0 currently costs $49 per month. If a sale is made through your affiliate link, you will be paid 50% of the initial payment. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely not. That is something 
I will address later. If you make four sales per day from your affiliate link, you'll make about $200 per day. That's a lot of money, especially considering you don't have to think or create new content. All you have to do is collect video clips of Andrew and do some editing, and you're ready to go. That explains why he's in almost every social media feed. He is not paying anything. Instead, people are earning money for him, with a small portion going to them. He is a true artist. I already mentioned that it was not a great deal for affiliate marketers. Please, allow me to elaborate. People who complete a transaction for him can keep half of the proceeds. Assuming, however, that the average hustler's university retention is five months. This is only one example. It's possible that it'll take a little bit longer. The total amount a person will pay will be around $250, but you as an affiliate will only receive 10% of that money, which equals 25, while Andrew receives the rest. In comparison to other affiliate programs, that fact that you're effectively gaining customers for $25 and the commission is only paid once isn't so great. It's not good enough because most SAAS companies will pay you recurring money for each sale you bring in. The genius behind this is that it has a very low barrier to entry because most affiliate marketing programs require some thought and creativity to come up with the content yourself, whereas repurposing Andrew's content requires very little effort. That's why it appears to be an excellent strategy. There are currently over 40,000 people enrolled in the Hustlers University 2.0, and you are greeted with an onboarding process. As soon as you enroll, you can choose your current income group. You have the option of being cash poor, but time wealthy, or cash rich, but time poor. Several paths within the university are filtered, depending on the options chosen. The vast majority of people who take part in this program do so in order to learn how to make money. As a result, most people who join the program do so because it is inexpensive. People earning $49 per month are likely to be cash poor, but time rich. They are directed down the affiliate marketing path, where they must join the affiliate program and assist Andrew Tate in attaining sales by republishing his articles or sustaining a social media presence via organic marketing. In order to attract more students, it has the effect of creating a flywheel effect. It looks like a pyramid scheme, but that's not exactly what it is. There is nothing like that. He is technically at the top, while every affiliate is at the bottom. If you think this is clever and devious, just wait until you see how he monetizes the war room. He can increase the earnings by upselling people to the war room. The cost of the war room is not $50 or $100. It does, however, cost $5,000. Yes, you heard that correctly. Unfortunately, there is no affiliate commission, so don't expect to receive 50% of that money. Andrew receives the entire sum. The war room is only accessible to Hustler University members. The role of an affiliate is to recruit people for the program. If they believe they are getting good value for their money, they enroll in the war room program. It's a cool strategy, and we can't help but admire what he's doing. However, it may not be the best long-term strategy because the possibility of making money through his affiliate network will eventually dwindle as he reaches a larger and larger portion of the total addressable market. So, Andrew pays affiliates to recruit additional affiliates. And after a while, affiliates are upsold to the war room in order to keep people interested in Hustlers University. Not to mention that he is now extremely well known and the former fighter's tactics are impressive and that he is extremely wealthy. Andrew Tate's net worth is expected to be around $30 million by 2022. He is one of the most well-known internet celebrities in the country at the moment, and he has amassed a sizable fortune in the fight industry as a result of his professional kickboxing career. He also admitted that, despite being a four-time world champion, kickboxing did not make him rich. The most money he ever received was $100,000. Tate's main source of wealth comes from his businesses, which include numerous casinos in Romania. Andrew Tate earns approximately $2 million per year from a variety of sources. Tate publishes lifestyle vlogs and podcasts on his YouTube channel Tate Speech and can be found on YouTube.